Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, I had finished the impossible. And um, off screen, you might have noticed my health has gone up a little bit, my things have gone up a little bit. Uh, off screen, I do the parts that I died in last episode. And you guys know I lost my notes, um, so I had to go back and do those again. But I did those off screen for you guys, so you didn't have to watch that stuff again. So, I was actually planning on doing all that on screen. So you guys owe me a cookie. I like cookies. Anyways, um, oh fuck, this is the part with the acid shit. Okay, this thing is like moves fucking like crazy when you get on it. Get out of that acid shit, motherfucker! I, I call it acid shit, because it's like shit. But yeah, that stuff burns you if you get falling. There we go. Actually, it's like toxic waste, but still. The difference between acid and toxic waste, acid's used for science stuff. Toxic waste, I guess, is used for science stuff, but not. it's also available in everyday things like hospitals and shit. So there's human flesh in there? Oh, duh. Oh! I forgot about this one. I really did. I really did, Harry. Harry, I forgot about this spell. Wingardium Leviosa, Harry. I'm just gonna fucking use Kazooie. I don't fucking care anymore. Actually, fun fact, Banjo-Kazooie is a British game. So I better give him accents from now on. Oh, hey, I'm Bartos. And I'm Banjo. My name's Banjo. I'm a British redneck. I, I want to see that now. British rednecks. They exist in Britain? I mean, I'm sure there's obviously the British dude who's like, Oh, the American the American monster trucks and whatever the fuck else rednecks like. Stupid bear, you'll have to learn that red hot ovens tend to burn. Yes, Banjo. Ovens burn people. Just taking a... Ouch. I'm never going to learn. It's like, screw you. Does it hurt? Okay, cool. I thought that soup in the floor would hurt you. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. This kitchen's deadly. I would not want to work for this boat crew. Yeah, this level seems like all the characters here are innocent. Like, most of the levels are just like wild animals kind of things. And a lot of levels, they're like, um, Gruntilda's factories and shit, so they're not really innocent. This level is just a boat harbor. It's like, it doesn't even rec recognize as Gruntilda's boat. And, like, the Rusty Bucket. And workers at Rusty Bucket Bay. I just feel like like, I, like I'm just killing innocent... Innocent whatever the fuck they are. Also, back here. I forgot to break this. This leads to a, uh, room. A room. Now, there are some maps in here, and um, some of you might know this, some of you probably don't. But uh, I will explain these maps in a sec here, because these maps are actually real maps of real places in the game. That is Hammerhead Beach, which was a beta level for this game that was never finished. And that is what they did get finished right there. And that is actually used in the final cutscene of the game to get everything in the game, so you get to see a beta image, I guess. This here is Treasure Trove Co. if you look close enough. Um, let's see, like up there is the part with the treasure, with the treasure chest thing starts. That's Shark Food Island, that's why it's X, it's a stop and swap. There's the part with the climbing up and the bitch fuck, and I don't know. It's, so that is a map of Treasure Trove Cove. Go build Treasure Trove Cove in Minecraft, you'll probably get one of them things as your map. And then there's, uh. Oh, it's like radars, that's cool. This room's otherwise useless, besides those four moats, though. Wrong window. Both windows should lead you out of here. Also, I don't know where I learned this windows were breakable, but I actually figured it out myself. Like, I never used a lot of walkthroughs back in the day. I never thought walkthroughs were really that good. It's either they were a shitty walkthrough, or I was cheating, you know? And, uh, yeah. Now, the password here... I know how you can see the password. There's actually a sign in the boat somewhere that says the password. 
When I first played this game, I didn't know about that sign. I figured the password out by hands. I've literally, like I said, I've memorized this game. I fucking know the passwords to all the jiggies. By heart. It's 312111, and you get a jiggy for it. Why is the game getting so slow? You gotta talk slower when the game gets slow, if that makes sense, you know? Why is the game getting so slow? I, I sound like Captain Sparkles, I don't care what anyone says. That's that's like Captain Sparkles' voice. Like, I'm not being like offensive or anything to him. I, I love his voice, but... He seriously has a weird voice. It's awesome though, but... It's awesome, it's totally cool, man. It's totally cool, man. It's this ladder. This ladder is freaking huge! Why do we need a ladder that big? Also, up here... I know this game too well. Here come Balkum. Also, these platforms are perfectly flat sprites in the game's programming. So if you look at them from the right angle, they'll disappear. And I think that was so the jiggy pictures and stuff look better, but... I don't know. I think it's amazing, one thing I think is amazing with Banjo-Kazooie is the fact they can actually turn a level like this into a game. Like, normally when you're playing a game off a level or something like that, like Mario 64, you can tell it's a game. I mean, there's like, there's just platforms and shit laid around, and it's just, it's, it's very fake. Whereas this game, it's like literally, they just literally just made a boat and placed jiggies in the areas they thought would be hardest to get to, and then whatever they didn't have, they just made challenges for. Like, like that's literally how a game like this should be done. Like, when I play Mario 64, it's all the floating platforms and shit, and it's like, uh, it's, it's obviously... Obviously, it's made to look gamey, and this just doesn't work right. Now, this right here is one of the hardest things to get to. I don't see if I can do this. Hold the A button, ladies and gentlemen. And that's where I need to raise the water up all the way. But anyways... It's down here. Oh, it comes open. Okay. I would like that. It can poke them. Now we need to get over to the other side, which I will go from the uh, from uh, the thingy over here because it, actually, yeah, I would go. From there. Whoa! I avoided Mr. Stephen Spielberg's evil twin brother, Spielberg Stephen. Oh, it seems scenes on my computer I thought broke or something. Also, another window. I'm getting like off, like, like I'm going off track of what I'm supposed to be working on in the game. I'm just doing other shit. Ah, uh, that's good, he's making progress still. He's on a big bed. Yeah, it's a big bed for little men like you. Anyways. Is it me or did Banjo's voice have like a million banjos at once? This is a cool level here. I like this room here. This is like a cool little room. Like, I don't know, it's something about it. It just, like, the rest of the game is this level is really ugly, kind of like Clanker's Cavern. In fact, this is like Clanker's Cavern above ground. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But this one, this one, that one little room there is just kind of nice. And it's a change. It shows that this isn't really like an ugly level. Well, it is an ugly level. This is the butt fucking ugliest. But. Also, background, those factories look so cool. And also, this, this, comments below, I'm not going to tell you what they remind me of. But what do these factories remind you of? What game do they, what game does this background here look like? Comments below. Tell me, tell me what level, what, well, not, well, you can tell me what level if you're really into it, but. What game does that remind you of, people? And the first person to get that right, I will reply to, and I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. And uh, yeah, it'll be some kind of contest. I don't know. It'll be some kind of, like, shout-out or whatever. And that one you can't toll anymore, like you could the other one, so don't worry about that. Uh, nothing you really want from it, though. I mean, there's nothing floating in the air or anything. You just kind of waste time doing that. Also, go back here with egg replacements, because they're very important in this level. This is getting to the point where eggs are vital, and you need to start grabbing them when you see them. 
I'm surprised they haven't activated that cheat code yet. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go to that middle one first. The middle one's the hardest one to get into. Ooh, this music. I love this music. Ooh, never noticed that before. Some of the items in this game I've never gotten before, because, you know, this game has got so much to do that they don't actually force you to do. Like that Rumble Token. I've never actually gotten that one before, I don't think. But, you know, this isn't one of them rooms you really spend much time exploring. That's all I really need from there. This room is really useless. Oh. Oh, he's tough. Dang. Tough enemies here. This is like Rare's attempt at making the hardest level that absolutely nobody will love. And yeah, that. Uh, just give you guys another glimpse. I seriously want someone to actually get that right. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool if someone actually recognizes what that reminds them of. Oh, this room. Yeah, okay. This is not a required room. But I'm going to do it anyways. Or attempt to do it. Oh, I did it. Okay. Yeah, an extra life. Cool. I think there's some other stuff in here, but like eggs galore, which will help you fend them off. But that's about it. Oh, hey, musical notes. Cool. Okay then. Let's go in here. Ooh, spooky. Not really spooky, just kind of like, oh, cool. Okay. Oh, I'm in a world full of stuff. Also, 64-bit sound? Something actually stops the sounds in this game? That's amazing. Wow. The Mumbo Token officially has enough sounds put into it that it can break a 64-bit sound code or whatever. I don't know how it works exactly. But that's pretty amazing. N64 was made to specifically stop that kind of stuff when the sound effects would cut off. That is amazing. Well, it wasn't specifically made for that, but it was... That was one of their main intentions, was like, stop the sound effects breaking off, uh, 3D gaming, simple stuff like that. I need to get back on the boat now. Oh, uh, I'm dreading, like, I haven't said it yet, you actually drown on the surface of the water, and don't get, fall off the edge. And also, you lose health, or air, twice as fast under there. And this game isn't, like, really kind with it, where it'll start hurting you afterwards, like Minecraft does. You drown, you're dead. Instant death. And, um, yeah, last thing I want to do today is, dr is drown in this game. There's only one level I've ever drowned in. Like, legitly. And that is Clanker's Cavern. You really go pretty deep in that game. With the water and all that. I didn't actually go through this whole thing? Wow. Uh, this one doesn't require a timer. This one's actually kind of funny how it works. I'm just like, yo, and I'm like, YOLO. Hit that. Out drop the TNT. Bang! Now we'll go in there in a sec. Because I want to explore this area a little bit here. And see what we can find. I don't remember this level very well. Like, I know this level, obviously, where everything is and stuff. But I don't remember it like I do all the other levels. Like, uh, all the other levels, I just know them really well at like the back of my hand. This level, I know where everything is, but I don't know exactly where everything is. It's just... It's a lot of eggs. This is actually the first time I've ever done this level without running out of eggs, by the way. Okay, then. Game, like, glitched for a second there. Oh, 
Okay, I'll stop. I fucking made my dog cry. That is fucking annoying. I can't sing anymore. Okay, I'm just kidding. That would actually be a really good idea for like a show. Like some guys, like, like my gym partner is a monkey, but in college, and this guy has like a dog for his roommates, and it's not even like. Like a cartoony dog that can speak English and shit. Like, I'm dead serious. It's like a fucking dog. Like, just barks. And poops all over the place. That, that would be a fucking great movie. Just like a one-timer short thing. I don't know. Maybe a YouTube video idea, not really a movie idea. I'm gonna go in here. This is one of- this is the only boss fight in the game I can really think of. Let me think for a little sec. Like, like, there are boss fights where you fight swarms of stuff, but this is the only true boss. Besides Gruntilda. Ooh, there's at the boss boom boxes hold. I've hidden my jigsaw. Oh, never get it. He's a weird voice. Maybe this is like the ice cubes we've been fighting for a long time now. That we don't see anymore. Also, I realized earlier that I said that uh, that the uh, ants or the termites appearing in uh, the Christmas tree in uh, Freezy Z Peak was one thing. It was one? It was the only time when an enemy appears like so a little tiny thing, like it's not even a related level. I just realized that the sludge monsters reappear in Mad Monster Mansion, and I'm not talking the skeleton ones. I'm talking about the ones in the toilet in Logo, in his mouth. That is Banjo Kazooie. They give their toilet a name, but then again, Conker gives the shit a name. So, ladies and gentlemen, two very cool games. Ah, oh, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it anyway. I don't always give my jiggies away, but when I do, I've been broken into pieces, splintered, as he says. Cowabunga, man. Let's get out of here. Okay. No, honestly, I've discovered something funny about recording sessions is, uh... YOLO. Is, uh, you don't actually think about, like, I, I know none of you guys, like, anyone out there who LPs will understand this. Like, you don't really think about, like, watching over your LP again to edit and stuff. You don't really think about the things you said as much as you do when you actually say them in, like, the recording session. And I don't know, it's just like a weird feeling. Like, you'll say something really stupid during your recording, and it's either you'll notice, and you'll get, like, all flustered up or some shit, or, like, you won't notice, and it'll just fly by your head like a... Wow, I just avoided that twice in the LP, man. Anyways. But it'll just fly, like, right by your head like a, like a dolphin flies by a pizza. And, yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's weird. Don't get yourself killed, Banjo. This is where Snacker reappears. I'm going underwater in the deadly level. This is the only point you get to fly in such a big level. That is amazing. This level takes a lot of running around. I know a lot of levels are bigger than this, but those levels, those bigger levels, have shortcuts in them. This one doesn't. I noticed that. Like, it does have the, the platforms to get around, but... That farting never gets old. I'm gonna be serious with you guys. I, I never mature out of the fart jokes in this game. They're just fucking... The, the sound effect is just... I don't know, the farting sound effect is just hilarious to me. Like, the one in Conker is just, like, not really that funny. It's just kind of like, oh, yeah, it's a giant piece of shit that farts. Like, this one, it's, it's fucking hilarious. It's like a little kid's game. There's, like, these really fucking good farting sound effects. 
and you don't even think twice about him until someone talks about him to you. I'm like the only person who actually noticed that. Like, on my own. Also, the episode is finally over? No, 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 no,